You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cap news, just real authentic content. The 100 way. So this message right here is for all of the up and coming rappers that think that getting a record deal is like signing a contract to the New York Knicks. It's two different things, man. The rap game is just like the crack game, man. It's 10% music, 90% business. So that being said, don't thinking that you just going to jump in here and just take these folks money and get rich. It just don't work like that. These record labels and these execs are just like Bank of America, Credit One, Visa, etc. They just giving you a loan, man, with a high interest rate. So if you thinking that advance money is free money, like you just hit the damn lotto, it ain't, man. They give you a million, you're going to owe a million plus some more. That's just how this game goes. Any rappers out there that's thinking they want to jump into this, man, do your homework first on being independent. Because that's the best way to go right now. Check out how Young Dolph did it. Tech Nine did it. Now, Tech Nine ain't a popular rapper on a major platform. But Tech Nine is very wealthy. That man is rich and that man is doing his thing, man. So if you want to be popular and you want to have the fame, just know it's a price to pay. So when the record labels push the button on your music and they have you being placed on a popular level, just know that is coming with a hefty price. So I ran across this interview with Bobby Schmurder. And Bobby Schmurder was saying that he made his record label $178 million, man. Did y'all hear that right? Bobby Schmurder said he made his record label $178 million when he first came out. And he didn't even get a million from that, man. He had broke down his deal and the numbers was crazy. From what they had made off of him, from what they had gave him, it was crazy. It was a bad deal. So yeah, man, 178 million is a lot of money. And we all know when that boy first came out, that hot nigga song, that joint was busting, man. Epic jumped behind him. They had dropped the bag. Just imagine if Bobby dropped Hot Nigga independently. Because if I'm not mistaken, when he first released that song on that Vine app, he didn't have no label at that time. And that song was doing very well. Just off of the YouTube views alone, Bobby would have made a lot of money. But it seems like the record label swooped in. They signed him. They took the rights and left Bobby with peanuts and that's what they do man so any artist that is coming up right now just keep that in mind man if you sign it to a label it's good because it's good promo they are gonna push the button and get you seen that's cool but having the fame and having money is never gonna add up just know that man so yeah man let's check out this content of bobby schmurder saying that how the record label robbed him man and don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's 100 tv if i knew i could make them 178 million dollars the first thing i i'd have went independent long time i'd have never signed a contract i went independent long time ago I think we signed for like 1.5. They gave me like 300,000 or some shit, like 200,000, like 250. That's what they be giving up. When y'all hear all these five, four point million dollars, that's the deal. That's how all the label deals are. That's how, that's how, you know. If you, all the young guys, if you want to be in the label, that's how the labels are, man. You know how this shit go already, baby. You want that fame or you want that money? You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cab news, just real authentic content. The 100 West.